I've noticed that most people when they're making a pouch, uh, they do it with two threads. Uh, I've been doing this for quite some time, many years. And how I do it is with one thread, which I find easier, so I thought, well, we'll give you an option. And here's what I do. I've cast on 32 stitches, however you like to cast on your stitches. And the first stitch is going to be, it's a little tight, uh, a knit stitch. So you're going to knit a stitch. This first stitch. Oh, there we go. Let me try that again. I don't think I got that right. There it is. Let's see. Okay. This knit stitch. Where is this one tangle? There we go. And we're going to slip the next stitch purlwise. As if you were going to purl. Then the next stitch is a knit stitch. So you pull this thread kind of tight. Whenever you're doing your ends, pull them tight because that forms your seam. So we've got a knit stitch and a slip stitch purlwise. Knit stitch and slip stitch purlwise. That's basically all there is to this making this little pouch. What I do that makes it go faster for me, and I think it's a good habit if you're going to do it this way, because number one, you don't get lost near as easy, and it's it just goes faster is you knit your stitch and when you're coming back I hope you can see this okay you pick up that slip stitch at the same time so then you knit a stitch and you catch that slip stitch take it off at the same time knit stitch and catch that slip stitch knit stitch and catch that slip stitch. Knit stitch. And catch that slip stitch. And you knit and slip all across the row. Knit and slip. 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 And knit and slip. Okay. I'm going to continue on doing this until I get a few rows and then I can show you the coat. Hope you can see this plain enough. So the second row. Knit. Okay. Knit and slip. Once we get this row done, it won't be quite so tight. First rows are always fiddly. No matter what you're making, it seems. Oops.
this is not the nicest wool, it just happens to be what I had handy. And it sticks. Well, I don't know if we've got enough to to see, but we'll pull it off the needle and see if it's inside out. Hopefully, it's inside out, and this is is a little tiny pouch. I'm not giving it much time here, but just so that you can see, I'm going to pull it off the needle, and we haven't got much to look at, but you can see it totally comes apart and it's knitted on the other side. I should have done a little more 
But anyway, you get the idea. And that's how I make the little pouch. So you might want to give it a try.